Hi, we're here with the Haitian Sensation. As you know, he's well known in the community. Tell us about yourself, who you are, and where you came from. My name is Max Toulouse. I'm so T. Okai, I'm Semun Okai. I'm CPT Pastor Paul Toulouse. I'm from Voice here. I'm just very pleased to be here with you guys today. I'm just happy to be in Boston area, be around so many people that I know, and be around um, good family. And I'm just excited to finally be here today and get to be with you guys and get an interview. Alright, how did you start playing soccer? Well, uh, ever since Haiti, I started playing soccer. They built a bit to go when we saw the local and football in the village. I remember when they did the football and the football, I remember when they did the football and the football. I remember when they did the football and the football. I just love, love soccer for some reason, so I just started playing ever since a young age. Alright, where did you play in the US, if you don't mind telling us? When I first came to the US, I settled in uh, Fort Wayne, Indiana. I played for school there and then after playing for school some people scouted me and saw that I could play travel. So I played for a couple clubs over the years and just kept getting higher and higher in the club levels in Fort Wayne, Indiana. Did you receive any award or anything that you would like to tell the fan about? Yeah, actually I received quite a bit. Um, growing up I was in a ODP so I made the state team, I made the regional pool. Um, um, super white, that's what it was called, super white um, national pool. Then I played PDL um, as I grew older, and I was nominated as one of the finalists for uh, the U19 PDL Player of the Year in the year 2000, 2009. That sounds like a lot of stuff that you accomplished already. Can you tell us where you went to college or something? Um, I went to IPFW, which is a small D1 school in Fort Wayne, Indiana. I got a full ride scholarship um, to play soccer there, so I just stayed in town. I was around people I knew, around a good community, so I just stayed and played that soccer there. All right, now here's a big question. Tell us about being top 10 in, in the state. Well, in college, um, I, I had a stellar senior year. I was um, top 10 in a lot of scoring categories, and if I wasn't top 10, I was top 20. And um, I had one of the fastest goals scored in D1. We actually went down the field and uh, scored a goal, so that was pretty awesome. I just did really well. I had a great team around me, great people, great players, and it was just fun. It was fun, and we we're enjoying ourselves. So we scored a lot of. I personally scored a lot of goals, and the team we scored more goals, like one of the most goals in history of the school. So it was awesome. Yeah, it was pretty cool. All right, how did you transition to a professional? Well, ever since I was young, I wanted to play professional soccer. Like ever since Haiti, and so once I got done playing for college, I just wanted to go pro right away. So. I got done in uh, October of 2011, and then in January of 2012, I turned pro. I played in the MISL, which is the indoor league in the U.S., and I played with a team called the Wichita Wings for the rest of their season. And after that, um, there were a couple of trials I had with uh, P um, NASL teams and uh, PS, no, the uh, above. I don't remember what it's called, but right under the MLS, I had a couple of trials with Harrisburg City Islanders and some other teams, but um, nothing worked out, so I decided to, to go to Iceland, and I went to Iceland and played, played last year. Now tell us about you joining the national team, the Haitian national team. <laughs> the, the Haitian national team, but for me, ever since I was young, that was like play professional soccer, play for the Haitian national team. And so um, I did very well in Iceland and I was lucky to join a good team and uh, join a group, good community that took me in and allowed me to perform very well. And so after that, I came back to the US, went back to school and I and I got in contact with the national team after a while and uh, I went to Haiti, trained with them. And after that, I traveled with them to Grenada and we played in the Caribbean Cup um, I played with, I didn't actually get in, but it was a great experience to be on the team, to train with them, and to be able to be around players and be around such a high level. Now, a lot of fans are waiting to hear from you. What's next? <laughs> after after a few months of talking, my agent and I, we decided that I'm going to go back to Iceland for the next season um, to play again. So I'm just waiting for my visa. But once I get my visa, which should be soon, I'll be going um, to Iceland to play for their season.
All right, Max, what do you have to say to the youth out there who wants to reach your level? I would say wherever you are. Two years ago, I came here and I played in the D-League with, uh, what was the name of the team? Wildcat. Wildcat. I'm Dejo Aveo. I played with them, sorry. I played with them, and it was a great experience. Like, the fans were awesome. The teams were good. It was just a great atmosphere to be around. So wherever you are, no matter if you're in the D1 League, the PDL, wherever you are, you just got to dedicate time and effort. If you're passionate about what you want to do and you dedicate your time to it, no matter what it is, you'll turn, produ you'll be productive and you'll turn, you'll reach a high level in it. So instead of just going out and partying or like going out and chill with friends, dedicate your time, dedicate your energy, just focus and, uh, and you'll reach your potential.